It was so cool the way we did it. You know, it was so slick. It looked so official. A Cheshire man contacted NBC Connecticut Response after applying for an online secret shopper job. Consumer investigator Sandra Jones is here with his warning on how easy it is to become a victim. Sandra? Well, Kevin and Carrie Lee, his complaint comes on the heels of the Better Business Bureau's riskiest scam report. Nationwide employment scams top the list due to the risk of huge financial loss and compromising personal information. Thomas Riccatelli says he almost fell for one. Pounding the pavement. Thomas Riccatelli is unemployed and in search of a job. He thought signing up with this secret shopper program would be a fast way to make some cash. What attracted me uh, to it was the fact that I would be dealing with people. The job required Thomas to evaluate local shipping services like the U.S. Postal Service or FedEx. I said, great. You know. Thomas was instructed through email to deposit this $1,700 cashier's check, take $200 for his assignment, $50 for FedEx charges, and mail the remaining $1,500 in money orders to a Houston address. That was a red flag. Well, I started to research the information on the check and to look for um, things like watermarks on the check. Uh, addresses. While the initial offer sounded good, Thomas didn't fall for it. But according to the BBB, in 2018, dozens of Connecticut residents did. Unfortunately, a lot of those secret shopper jobs, work from home jobs that seem to pay a lot and don't take a lot of skill, those are the more high risk for an employment scam. Luke Fry says the BBB saw an 86% rise in people most likely to be scammed between the ages of 18 to 40. It seems like a real opportunity, a real job. Thomas Riccatelli considers himself lucky. There may be some people out there that are getting the same type of thing. Now, I should point out, there are some reputable online jobs and companies, but before you apply, do your research, ask for references, don't give Social Security numbers, banking information, or driver's license information, and never send money in the mail. I'm Sandra Jones, NBC Connecticut Responds.